okay so this is about the lesson 2 and lesson 2 will be talking about the pruning of the fruit plant so what does the pruning mean we will be knowing about that first then after the skill of gaining the skill of the pruning of the fruit plant then after we will be talking about the advantages of the pruning of the fruit plant so let's talk about what does the pruning means so the gradual uh, growth and the development of the fruit plants keep on uh, keeps on going throughout the year there might be some unwanted part of a plant that need to be removed for the proper growth and the development of the fruit plants in the farm for that purpose thus the pruning of the plant is essential for stopping the unnecessary growth of the plant to keep them healthy and ensure the good productivity so now if you can see okay so now if you can um just think if you can just imagine then uh, you will be just seeing so many plants in which uh, so many unwanted uh, branches will be growing in which there will not be proper uh, growth of the leaves also will not be there a proper growth of the fruits will not be there so such type of parts should be cut down and cutting down of those sort of unwanted plant to help them to help the particular plant to grow in a uh, grow in a healthy way in a good manner then it is known as pruning so pruning fruit of um, plants refers to the cutting of unwanted and unnecessary branches from a tree or a bush of a plant to ensure the good development and productivity of a plants and uh, fruits so uh, it can be done in any plant it can be done on any fruit plant or a normal vegetative plant also we can do it so this one is necessary technique when you are doing in a uh, agricultural work when you want to go grow up in the agriculture field or when you want to do something in your at your home only for a simple reason also during this lockdown if, if you want to utilize your time and just grow a dhania or okay um then only that that will be very helpful to you so not only uh, the vegetative all the also the fruit plants also the tree that will be helpful with the help of this pruning technique then after the growth of the fruits plant throughout the year makes them unnecessary tall and bowing down uh, tending to break the branches similarly some branches of the plants may dry or die thus it is necessary to trim or cut the unnecessary parts of the plant and generally uh once in a year you have to do it but uh, in nepal most of the time uh, not only once in a year um if it is a seasonal plant if it is a um, uh, seasonal plant then it can be done in a month wise also and uh, so that that depends upon how the plant will be growing okay so if the plant will be growing throughout the year then it can be done once a year if the, it will grow in a once a month or in a season only it will grow then you can do it at any time whenever it is necessary so pruning can be done at any time okay some important aspects why it is important because all decayed dried broken and diseased twigs and branches should be cut and removed from the fruit farm why because this sort of things this sort of old decayed dried broken and diseased um weeks uh, two weeks uh, this will not be helping the um the plant to grow in a proper manner that's why we need to remove it then after weak thin and twisting and entangled branches should be cut and removed why because this sort of branches entangled means twisted okay twisted and uh, they are just uh, indulged with themselves so those uh, that type of branches that type of um, stems should be cut down so that it will also grow in a proper manner the only the um, vision of this pruning of the fruit plant is that to grow the fruit plant in a proper healthy manner and scarring branches should be trimmed and removed scarring branches means the those branches will be uh, very tall which will be growing very tall though that sort of branches should also be trimmed another we have is short branches that have already borne fruits should be cut and removed now here you can see short branches even the short branches which have already uh, in which the fruits are already grown that should be also cut and removed 
and big wounds or injuries in the stems should be treated with the paste of antibiotics and uh, insecticides this sort of thing will be especially done in a big plant okay in a big plant in a trees like that type of uh, plant it will be done because in a small plant uh, if there will be big wounds then it will generally die only so that's why uh, it is uh, generally done in a big plants and weak going plants uh, weak going branches should be cut and removed from the fruit farm and what are the advantages now pruning helps to control the shape and size of the fruit plant as per our need suppose if you are doing the kausi kheti terrace farming you are doing then you need to know um you you don't have that much uh, very big space in the terrace no for that purpose it will be helpful it will be very helpful to you to control the shape and size of the plant another we have is the it helps to make the fruit plant thick and strong and it corrects the structural defects in the fruit plant structural defects means if the branches are twisted or entangled then that sort of defects also will be removed and it also improves the sunlight penetration in all plants of the uh, fruit plant that helps in the proper development of the bars flower and fruits so it also helps to control the pests and disease in the fruit farm so what does this mean whenever uh, there is a proper amount of sunlight given then only the plant will be grown in a proper healthy manner that's why if we remove, remove this sort of weak and unnecessary branches of the plant then that will help in the sunlight penetration penetration means bitra chirnu okay so this sort of um, sunlight penetration will be helping to grow the plant in the uh, in a proper manner another we have is a uh, it removes the decayed and diseased plant parts of a fruit plant which helps to control the disease of uh, fruits so if there is any parts of a plant which are diseased or which are decayed or which are already dead also that's such a plant if we remove it then that will not affect other parts of a plant and it also maintains the proper space between the fruit plant needed for their proper growth and development as you can see so this one is